Hi everyone and welcome to a brand new week of devotions from the team at Andover Baptist Church. My name's Chris and I'm the Senior Minister at ABC and I've got the great joy of leading you through this week's devotions, Monday to Friday, all on the theme of views from a mountain. A few weeks ago, my wife Ruth and I went with a few great friends to the Lake District to take part in an event called Light the Lakes. We climbed up some high peaks near Buttermere and camped overnight uh, on one of those peaks in aid of a great charity called COPS, Care of Police Survivors. We remembered police officers who have been killed in the line of duty by lighting up flares at, at three o'clock in the morning, joining with hundreds of others all across the Lake District doing that on the 214 Wainwright Peaks. And it was all in aid of raising money for that charity who support the families of police officers who have sadly lost their lives serving our nation. At various points on the climb, I recorded some thoughts and we've turned them into a week of devotions. I really hope you enjoy them and that God speaks to you through them. We start with the theme of setting out. I wonder if you're looking ahead of you right now and seeing something that is coming up for you in your life and it feels a bit daunting or you are a bit daunted by it. Maybe you're about to set out on a new challenge. Maybe it's a big life change. Maybe you're starting a new job or becoming a parent for the first time. Maybe you're about to retire or you're setting out on a journey of treatment for a health issue. Whatever it is, maybe sometimes you're worried and the way ahead looks daunting. Here's a view from the mountain all about that and I hope that it helps you. Hi everybody and welcome to the absolutely beautiful Lake District. It's looking absolutely glorious. Uh, today we've been really blessed with fantastic weather. We're just about set up, uh, set off on our um, big climb up to um, first of all the top of a mountain called Grasmore, about 852 meters, and then up to Whiteless Pike, where we're going to be uh, spending the night in aid of this amazing charity, Cops Care of Police Survivors. Um, we're going to be letting off flares at three o'clock in the morning uh, alongside um, people on all the other 214 Wainwright Peaks around the Lake District. I don't know if you can see behind me. Uh, but that up there is where we're headed, up to uh, Grasmore, uh, up there first of all, and then we're going to come along the ridge and drop down to uh, Whiteless Pike, which you can just see uh, in the distance behind me there, and that's we're gonna be where we're going to be uh, spending the night. And it's always this moment at the beginning of a walk uh, where I start thinking to myself, gosh, this is going to be a slog. And uh, the reality of what you're taking on is is kind of um, set out in front of you. This is uh, going to be a serious climb up to the top of this. The weather's beautiful, but it is hot. So it's going to be a hot and sweaty uh, climb up to the to the top there. Um, but I'm reminded always when uh, we're about to set out on these things that, um, you know, the feeling when we get to the top is going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be a slog to get up there sometimes. And uh, we're going to want to stop sometimes. And we're going to wonder why on earth we're doing it sometimes. But when we get to the top, it's going to be so worthwhile. And uh, there's a, a passage in an Old Testament, uh, New Testament letter called Hebrews, where the author says, let us run with perseverance, the race marked out for us. And today you can see the paths behind me that we're going to be climbing up. That's the path that is marked out for us as we head towards the top of this uh, mountain today. And we're going to need perseverance and energy as we get up there. But we've got great friends alongside us. We're really looking forward to climbing with uh, good friends today. And uh, they're going to keep us encouraged and inspired. We're going to be able to take it at the pace that's right uh, for us. We're not going to have to hurry and uh, we'll make it to the top. And uh, that just... Uh, that, that passage is a, a reminder of the importance of perseverance, but how much easier perseverance is when you've got great friends along the way, when you can uh, go at a pace that suits you. And uh, of course, in the, the race of life, in the, in the climb of life that it sometimes is, we have God alongside us as well, as well as other great friends to cheer us along the way. So we're really looking forward to it. It's exciting uh, as well as a, a little bit daunting. So um, we'll try and report a bit later on, maybe from partway up or maybe from the top, let you know how we've been getting on. That Bible passage again, Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 to 3. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. It's my prayer for you today that whatever you're facing, you would set your eyes on Jesus and run with perseverance the race marked out for you. 
Today's song is called Running, really appropriately, by Hillsong Worship. There's a link in the description below if you want to take a listen to that. But just before you do, let me pray for you. Lord God, I pray for anybody today who is facing that prospect of something daunting coming up, some new stage of life, some new phase of life, a, a new job, retirement, maybe a, a new child on the way, maybe uh, it's, a, it's a whole new challenge that's in front of them, maybe it's a health issue and they face a journey of treatment. For anybody who's looking ahead, looking at the path ahead and feeling anxious or afraid or worried or daunted, Lord God, I pray that you'd give them the boldness and the perseverance to run the race that is marked out for them. And I pray that you would remind them that Jesus is right alongside them, cheering them on and helping them on the way. Amen. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really hope you'll join me again tomorrow for day two of our devotions. Mm -hmm.